And today we're going to be checking out a street light, but it's not just any street light. It's a solar powered street light. That's right. You can put this light up anywhere on any post, on any fence, in any yard, and it does not need power. It has a big built in battery to keep it running all night long. And it also recharges itself all day long with a nice big solar panel. Let's open it up, see what we're get. And then we're going to install it on the fence right there with my very own post. Let's get into it. Alrighty, we're gonna go ahead and open this box up. Of course, I opened it from the, the bottom of the box. Way to go, right? And here you go. This is everything that you get. Of course, you get your installation and your booklet. You get all the wrenches, Allen wrench, hardware. You get the concrete anchors, nuts and bolts that you need to install the entire thing. You get a remote control, you get a mounting post, and you get the big, beautiful solar panel built on to the street light. How cool and efficient is this design? Some of these you have to actually mount a separate solar panel for the light, but they've actually started doing this to where they actually make the back of the light the solar panel. Very smart idea and going to save a lot of space. So let's go ahead. We're going to clear all the mess. I'm going to show you how to assemble this on the post and then we're actually going to hang it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually set the light up to receive the post. And we're gonna open this packet right here. And inside, you're just gonna find a bracket, four bolts, four nuts, and washers. And this just simply goes on the top like that. Feed your nut up through the bottom. You have these little hexagonal shapes here, and you're gonna put your nut in there. Then you're gonna put a washer on a bolt, and then you're gonna drop it down in the hole from the top and get it started on the nut. And you're gonna do that for all four bolts. just like that and then all you have to do is you take your pole and you can insert it just like that and then you're going to just tighten these up right here and like i said this kit does come with a wrench i have my own wrenches but i will use this wrench just to show you that you can do it with what's provided and you're just going to tighten this on the pole now i would suggest if you haven't mounted one of these before leave the bolts just a little bit loose until you get it on the pole and then you can align your panel the way it needs to be lined up and then tighten these all the way. And there you go. The pole is nice and secure. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this bracket and we're gonna go around our mounting pole. I'm gonna show you how to do that next. But if you were not using mounting this to a pole, you can use this and bolt it directly to a wall as well, or a post, a wooden post. But we're gonna use it clamp style and we're gonna put our own post on. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this hardware bag with the long bolts and washers and nuts, and we're just gonna get this started just like so. We're gonna put the bolt through, then we're gonna add a washer, and then we're gonna put a nut. And we're gonna leave this loose enough to slide over our pole. In essence, we're just gonna get all four bolts in. That way we can just slide our post in and tighten it up. All right, so this is now ready to receive our pole. We're gonna move over to the grass and actually install this on our pole. All right, so here we are. Here's our pole. Now granted, this light can go up to 19, 20 feet in the air. I'm only mounting it about seven, eight feet in the air because that's how high I need it. But it can go higher in case you're curious. We're gonna go ahead and just slide our bracket over our pole. And then all we have to do are tighten these up. And just like that, we're mounted to the pole. So all we have to do now is stand this pole up and we're going to strap it to the fence. The installation will be complete. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how I do that real fast. We're going to bring our pole up now. We're just going to lean it up against the fence. And for this install, I'm just using zip ties, but you can install it however you want to. This is merely for demonstration purposes. And just like that, our street light is now installed. It is ready to go. And all we have to do is come back tonight, see how well it works, and then go over the specs and details so I can tell you how long it lasts, how big the battery is, and all that good stuff. So I will see you guys tonight. Alrighty, so it's nighttime and you can see this is the same spot that we installed the, the street light today. 
and it is very, very dark on this side of the house. So we are gonna turn the street light on and let's see how much light it gives us. So this is all the light you're gonna get from this one little street light. Now you need to remember that this is only mounted about seven feet up and it's given us this much light. You can mount this 19, 20 feet in the air and it's gonna give you 2,200 square feet. Now some of the other specs that you're gonna get from this street light is the solar panel is a 25 watt panel. It has 420 LEDs, 80,000 lumens. It's IP65 waterproof. The design of the light, I don't know if you can see it, is, is kind of in a V shape at 45 degree angles. So it puts out light in a wider area to where most of the LED street lights are just a flat panel. And it has a radar mode, meaning it will go into a standby mode using only 30% power. And then when it detects motion, it will go back to 100%. And then once the motion is gone, it'll go back into the standby mode. Here is the remote, just so you can see it real quick. You have your power settings. You go 25, 50, 75, or 100. This is how you turn on your radar mode. You can set timers for two, three, five, six, and eight hours. And you have your on and your off. So we're gonna put it in standby mode or the radar mode. All right, and we're gonna wait for it to dim down. Let me back up first. All right, we're gonna be really still and get it to dim. And the second I move, you can see it goes back to bright. So very, very cool. The batteries are gonna last you up to six years. It's great for those places where you don't wanna to have to run power. It is completely rechargeable by the sun. No wiring or charging needed. You just simply stick it outside on a post on the side of your house, on the barn, or wherever you may need it. I hope this video helps and thanks for watching.